Hi, and welcome back to Dev Explaining channel. Today's video is about Advent of Code, and Advent of Code is basically Advent calendar for the coders. So if you've never heard about that, uh, this video is for you. If you have heard about it and attended, but you are struggling to find a reason this year, perhaps stick around. If you have seen my earlier videos, you know what to do, and you're about to kind of join us December 1st, uh, then you probably don't need to see my video, but feel free to join it anyway. Let's get started with the actual video. So what this is about, well, every day from December 1st to December 25th, there will be a new puzzle, actually two part puzzle released. So there is going to be 50 puzzles in this website and website link is uh, below my video as always. And the idea is that you are going to use your coding tools to solve the puzzle and it's going to be great fun. The puzzles start extremely easy. Uh, it doesn't take more than a few seconds to solve for some people, a few minutes for most of you, but they will get harder and harder and harder um, until 25th. And uh, you will probably need more time to solve them. So the first ones will be cracked extremely fast, but then you have to kind of struggle a little bit more and invest a little bit more time. So um, this is not a new thing. This has been around for a long time and there's not much to see on the website before December 1st, but um, I'm just going to advertise this because there's good reasons to join this. Uh, reason number one is probably learn something new. So if you have never attended or you have attended, uh, doesn't matter. You can challenge yourself to learn more this year. And uh, I think the reason why this is unique is because there is going to be tens of thousands of people around the world competing and sharing their findings and solutions and code. Uh, so you're probably able to find, if you're working in a company, there's going to be more people in the company that are going to attend this. So find a nice community or, or bubble or club and join it and uh, kind of work on these together. It's going to be great fun. And if you are not finding a nice local community, then find a global one. So there is uh, places like Reddit, Advent of Code, uh, where I'm kind of frequenting People are going to join uh, and, and uh, release and, and uh, discuss about all kinds of things. And note that there is going to be spoilers. So stay away from the spoilers until you have solved the problem or at least given it a proper try. So uh, in every bubble, there is going to be solution threads, uh, but they will really spoil the fun. So first, give it a crack yourself and only then um, enjoy sharing and caring the solves. Okay. Second thing, the earlier year uh, puzzles are going to be released. So if you're wondering what to do while the puzzles are not up there, you can uh, study the earlier year puzzles, uh, try e even to crack them and thus prepare for this year's puzzle. And that's a good way to practice and kind of warm up already. But the first puzzle will be released December 1st. And you will probably notice that my channel gets a bit more quiet by then because I'm going, I intend to join this uh, this year. I intend to savor the puzzles and uh, give it my best effort. And that's going to drain a little bit of my time. Now, I'm not going to crack them all probably this year because the first puzzles are going to be easy and fast. But then it gets uh, kind of more work. And uh, the moment where it starts to kind of drain into my fun, I stop. So. Last year I made it through until 20th, 20th of December and a lot of people will carry on. But in my case, I'm a coding dad. So between my day job coding and uh, my, my family and my hobbies and my channel, um, I simply don't find the time. So when it starts getting to be uh, almost like a work day uh, without getting paid for it, I typically stop. So as I mentioned, that's kind of one way to do it. Some people are more stubborn and they will get through it. Let me show how I did last year. Last year when I was competing, I got all the double stars done up until 20th. And by the 20th, I kind of uh, found it more work than fun and I stopped. And uh, you can still work on these. Some people are still working on <laughs> in the Reddit uh, 
there is still questions on 20, 2022. So people are still working on previous years and uh, day, a year before that puzzles. So that's one way to have fun. But for me, I just work on it until uh, it's not fun for me or until it starts feeling like unpaid work and then I stop. But that's okay. So I wanted to drop a few tips about scaling down and scaling up. So tip number one would be merciful for yourself. So if you if you start the comp if you start kind of the puzzles, you don't need to finish them. Just join it, uh, enjoy as long as it feels fun, and then give up. Be merciful for yourself. You're just a human being. You have a day job. Uh, you have a family. You have hobbies. So just give up when it's not fun for you. No shame in that. Second. Uh, if you are struggling with it, don't enter the leaderboards. Leaderboards are merciless, so best people are going to uh, crack the leaderboards uh, within a few seconds every year. Let's go to the 2023 leaderboard, and I just want to show you that um, leaderboard, uh, uh, first leaderboard was cracked in a uh, very uh, fast time, so there was like, uh, I think, two minutes to crack both parts. And it's uh, crazy fast, so it's going to be very, very uh, competitive. So stay away away from the leaderboards if you are not really finding the fun there. If you don't want to compete, don't. Don't compare yourself to anybody else, just compete against yourself. Uh, do one step at a time, and my final advice would be that if you get stuck, rather cheat than give up. So if you get stuck and you are not really being able to progress. First of all, skip that one and try to see if next day is going to be easier. Sometimes it is going to be easier. So sometimes the challenge goes up one day and then down. It is going to be more challenging on the average every day, but sometimes you don't, if, if you uh, kind of skip that day and go to the next day, you are still able to crack a few more. And finally, uh, if you're still unable to solve them, but would like to kind of stay in the game, at least read the problem and try it and then cheat and read the solve. Uh, read somebody else's work and notes and then apply those and uh, kind of understand it and learn that way. The purpose for me here is to learn and enjoy and understand. And uh, feel free to cheat, but don't cheat on the leaderboard. So if you're in the leaderboards, uh, please don't cheat with using AI or copying somebody else's work until the leaderboards are filled up. At that point, it doesn't really matter anymore. So it's actually in the rules now that uh, don't cheat on the leaderboards, don't use AI, for example. So try it uh, nat nature first, and only when the leaderboards are filled, then it's okay to cheat for uh, just to stay in the game and kind of use this as a learning tool. Now, if you are finding uh, yourself too good and bored, and you're thinking, uh, why, why would I attend this year? I'm bored, uh, it's too easy. Then do, the, do it the other way around. So enter the leaderboards, try to be fast. Uh, it's going to be great fun to be competitive at that stage. Or alternative route, challenge and limit yourself. So some people are finding enjoyment from picking up a very difficult language. Uh, picking up a new language is actually a great way to do this competition because if you have been willing to try Golang or Rust even, uh, perhaps pick it up this year, uh, you get 50 puzzles to, uh, to try and improve your skills in the language. It's going to be great fun. Perhaps uh, limit your libraries uh, and don't use any easy libraries, just stick to your own libraries. Perhaps uh, limit your style. Perhaps uh, try to visualize every puzzle. So uh, pour some of your effort into areas uh, that you haven't done before. And you might find some enjoyment in these areas. If I got you interested and you wish to kind of try this uh, this year, I would say that get started already and warm up your engines a little bit. So go through the previous year's events and uh, see what kind of puzzles they were. Uh, they are often going to repeat a little bit. So go through what kind of puzzles, what kind of solutions, crack a few from the earlier years if you haven't done so before. And uh, my tip would also be that prepare a little bit. So 
I have uh, for 2024, I already have a set of Python notebooks. Yeah, I'm going to be boring and I'm going to use Python this year. Uh, the reason is that I like to still play with it and find optimal ways to do it, refactor a little bit, but I also like to visualize. So this is why I use the Python notebooks. So uh, Python notebooks are an awesome way to kind of play with the problems and then visualize a little bit and keep on refactoring and cracking the code. So uh, I think that's why I still like to stick to these. And I actually use a few scripts alongside. So I have a fetch script and fetch is going to be, you can find scripts like this if you Google around quite easily. But every day in the morning when this star starts, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and run my little script and it's going to grab the data for that day and put it in the proper folder. And then I have a very simple copy pasted notebook uh, where I'm kind of ready to run fast. So uh, I get the parsing out of the way lightning fast and then I can focus on the algorithm. And this is my way to kind of time box it. So for many days, I'm able to do a good crack at it within one hour before my workday starts. So that's my <laughs> weird way of having fun. And when it starts taking more than that hour, then I have to make those calls where I'm going to get that hour, where I'm going to get the time. And then I start balancing a little bit. but. As long as uh, I can kind of go through the puzzle and crack it within an hour, that's going to be easy. I just uh, get it out of the way every day and uh, enjoy it and have fun. So I hope uh, today's video was fun for you as well. I like to get people kind of motivated and interested and especially in the days of AI and all the world events going on. I think uh, as a coder, there's a lot of uncertainty and worry. So... For the December, forget about the worries. Just be a bit uh, kind of childish. Have fun. Uh, AI might at some point take a away a significant chunk of our kind of work. It might be a curse or blessing. I don't know. Depends on how you approach it. But they are not going to take away our enjoyment of cracking simple limited puzzles in a community of friends. So I hope you will join me and uh, tens of thousands others uh, this December, 1st of December, when the puzzles get released, just kind of get motivated, crack the first puzzle and see how many more uh, you will be having fun to, to kind of crack. And as always, if you like my videos, let me know it, click those buttons, drop comments below the video and uh, join the fun 1st of December. I will be there. <laughs> cracking the puzzles. I will be stalking in the Reddit forums. There is similar forums in Discord, uh, company Slack, wherever you find the communities. Join them, enjoy it, have fun, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.